Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach simple CRUD system using Python. Uh, let us show the demo first. This is simple demo. Here I have a simple form, registration form. Here I have uh, three fields, student name, course and fee. If you fill the form and click add button, record should uh, added into the database table, right? So let us show the demo first. First I am going to fill the registration. So first we have to write here Peter is a student name, course I am going to write as VB, fee I am going to write as 35,000, click add button, record inserted successfully, if you back and browse and see the record here, Peter VB 35,000, right, the ID should be auto incremented, no need to, uh, no need to insert the ID, it's auto incremented, this is the student name, course and fee, right, so let me see how to do this task, right? So here, first we have to import the uh, ticker import here. So here if you if you want to write the geo application, you have to import like this. First what I am going to do is here, first I am going to create the root tk. Here we have to write the root title, this is a title. This is a project size, right? So I have created the global variables, right? So here we have to create three global ways. So here to control C to copy, control V to paste T three. Right. E one, E two, E three. Right. So here I have a label, three labels, student name, course and fee. I have paste into the relevant uh, location, right? Here where it's location. It's a location I have placed the each fields, right? Each label I have placed in the this location, right? Y ten y40 y80 right after that i have fixed the place the uh, this one should be the text fields text boxes i have placed on the relevant places y equal 10 mean here y equal uh, 40 mean here y equal 80 mean here we have placed it successfully here okay after that this is the button where i have placed it this is the size of the button width 13 height 3 right here this is the place where i have put the button on the frame okay here right so that here put it here now when you click ok button what happen is it goes to the ok function ok function what i did here is i have get those values what are the values you are type on this text boxes it's each fields get the value and assign to the relevant fields course name student name course name and fee right so this is the fields what i have created the three uh, global variables we have set it here these are the text box names e1, e2, e3, e1 dot get it assigned to the dis relevant variables, e2 assigned to the dis relevant variables, e3 assigned to the dis fee relevant variables, right. This is the thing we have to do, okay. After that we have to install the MySQL connector, right. So how to install the MySQL connector in your machine? Uh, it's, it's very simple when you install the uh, first year what you are going to do is here uh, first you must first you must install the mysql to python so let's how to install the way you can't install directly so here uh, this is the directory you have to go okay so first what i'm going to see i'm going to go to c drive here c here first we have to go to the c users C drive users. Here your machine name. This is a name. Inside here app data. Inside the app data local. Inside local programs. Here Python. Inside the Python, we have a file called scripts. Here you have to install the MySQL client. So control C to copy this code. You just go here, run cmd we just we have to go come to the e drive first c drive here uh, we have to type here the things here paste here so here what i'm going to say we have to we are already in the c drive so no need the c drive so we have to change the directory as cd user like this now here you have to enter this command and you have to uh, this command right in order to down uh, install the mysql connector to python right here okay right click and paste it and press enter key it is it will be 
installing right i already installed okay if you install the mysql connector then only you will be access to the this this all the stuff you you can access you will be able to write the code here import uh, mysql connector okay you can import the mysql connector right so after that what i am going to do is here uh, we have to write this codes this this right mysql db i have created the variable mysql db mysql dot connector connect here we have to set the connection right this is very simple it's like a java right like a simple java program it's like okay it's, this is the host we have to write host local host username what is the user user credential of the mysql you have to write okay you root is my username password is a blank database i have set as, as sm score right so here let's go back to our mysql this is the database name this is a table so here these are the data uh, so here first what i am going to say i have to create the uh, cursor object i have set the cursor object here right it's a cursor object okay you have to write a cursor object so here you have to write the query uh, this is the try block we are using in python try this one should be the expert this is exception if there anything uh, happen here what is the error it will be printing here right except expert uh, exception as he, he mean this is the object it it uh, kept the error and we have to pass it here here right you can easily identify the error which error is is on the try okay so here i have created the variable uh, query uh, sql insert into the record record is a data table name id st name course fee these are the fields values these are the values we have to uh, here we have to add the values right in the data so we have to write like this one this is this all the set is the parameters right one two three four parameters we have set here right so this is a well we have to create the well equal first one should be a blank blank mean this one should be id id will be i have set here as auto increment right here this is a field auto increment i have set i no need to explain i hope uh, the database uh, how to create the my mysql database i already taught in my java programming those who are not touch my java programming please watch them i explain step by step how to create the database and how to create the table right so now i no need to explain these are the things if you have to create it id student name course and fee so here first id should be auto increment so i have to i don't need to set anything else so here right here blank this parameters uh, okay here set it here right so that we no need to call it here so only call this like this after that student name sorry this parameter first this one this one should be the blank second one should be the student name its second parameter student course name this th third one this one right this all the values are set in here what is the value you are getting to all the variables it assigned to the relevant variables student name uh, course name and fee this all the things we have to call it here right you have to set it to this relevant parameters right so after that we have to call the cursor object to uh, dot execute function this is the query this is the well this is the record right it's added right if you call it okay after that my sql commit message will be display message box dot show information record inserted successfully right this is the thing we have to write after that if if you get any any error on this it's it's roll back it is roll back here okay this is the thing we have to write at the at the end we have to close the my sql Uh, my sql this is the database we have to close it right this is simple stuff we have to write okay this is the thing we have to write if you this is a very simple stuff you have to write uh, i hope you understood the things well uh, if you have any doubt uh, again this one should be the message box when the record is added into the database this record the message will be, message will uh, display record inserted successfully right we have to import the package right import mysql sorry if from dictator uh, import message box right the very simple one i hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime uh, don't worry about this i will provide my all the source code in my uh, website tutors funny you will be able to download the uh, source code thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me 
Thank you for watching.